Barry Aberdeen through to the quarterfinals of the League Cup. Um, could it have been a bit more comfortable in the end? Um, I think if they got caught up a wee bit of the emotion at the end of the game there, um, because obviously you've got um, everybody wanting a cup upset. We've seen the, the last few upsets we've had at Aberdeen over the last couple of years, so my main, in, my main message to the players all, all week was clear, just get through the round. It's never easy. I've been in a team, I've been come down to these places, I've played in teams that have gave upsets. I've seen lots of um, I've seen lots of them over the years. So um, we knew we didn't want that to happen, and um, I'm glad that listen we took our chances. We could have scored the right few goals, and we all know that. Um, but credit to Stirling, I thought were outstanding in the game. Um, the pitch was hard to to play on. We couldn't really move the ball at speed, but but listen, we're through. That's the most important thing. Two outstanding goals, two very different goals, but both real quality about them. Yeah, I think so, and I think um, we'll get better and better and better as we go. I think people tend to forget that's only our third game. We're trying to build a whole new squad, um, not um, not sitting with lots of uh, lone players. We're trying to build our own squad, and it takes a bit of time. Um, I think a lot of people spoke about Celtic needing to get up to speed and all that. They've got a treble winning team. They haven't really had to make any signings. I think that's nine we've made already, and we're hoping to make some more. So. Yeah, we need a bit of time to get into the gel and into the groove, but um, I think we're outstanding against Celtic. We win here tonight, and at Livy it's really difficult to get a point down there on the first day of the season when they were five games in, so there is reasons. Um, but we're in the next round, that's the most important thing. Do you take much from the performance on a night like this, or is it just about seeing your name in the draw for the quarterfinal? Uh, I'm, I'm pleased because yeah, um, you've got Cora Barron, Ryan Duncan, Leighton Clarkson, um, who else? Maybe Jack McKenzie, the young boys we've got on the bench. They're seeing what it's like to come and play these these venues, <laughs> and they'll go through some upsets in their careers, and, the, and they'll see what it really takes. And I'm pleased all the players on the pitch that got through that tonight. It's a difficult game. I knew it would be. If don't get me wrong, we've got a couple of more chances. It could have been a lot more comfortable in the game. I think we're all aware of that. If we've got a third goal, it could have been a lot different scoreline. But they get one set play and they get their goal out, and that's what their whole game plan would have been. Um, and then they, they, they came rallying at the end and then of course we've hit the bar twice and then Esther's missed a great chance on the counter too but that's in credit to Sterling I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that away from him I thought they, they performed so well tonight It was a disappointing goal to lose wasn't it and the problem with it was that it gave them a big lift when they looked as if they might be out of it at 2-0 down Yeah it's, it's killing for the safe to make so they get <laughs> the last 10 minutes they throw on two up top they throw the ball in there they get the break of the ball and they score a goal. Then everybody, the emotion gets caught. Everybody gets caught up in the emotion of the game. But I thought after that um, we did get caught a wee bit. But then we managed to see it out, which was pleasing. It's a good mentality that to, to, to try and do that. Do I think we could play slicker, better football? Yeah. Do we think the pitch will be a bit difficult? Yes. Do we think they're organised sides? Yes. We get all that. But the, the main thing was winning the match today, and when that's us in the next round. One big plus was to get Angus back on the pitch, obviously. Yeah, we've got Angus back on the pitch. We've got Esther there as well. So, um, with Jimmy McGarry's back. He's starting to do a lot more work. So, yes, we're, 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 we're going to Europe next week, but we're starting, to get, we're starting to get up to speed a bit more. We're starting to get more players on the pitch. We're starting to get more minutes. We're starting to get a bit um, sharper. So, let's hope we can keep going. And you've got a bit of time now to prepare for that game against the Swedish side, Aiken, uh, and do some do some work and some preparation and some video stuff, I guess? Yeah, we've had people over there the last couple of weeks watching them. Um, I've not had the chance to get myself. I would have went this Sunday, but obviously I've got the players in training, so we've got things I need to work on with them here. So we've got every report. We've seen them live three or four times. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to sit in the bus and go through all that at the minute. And we can look forward to Sunday in the quarterfinal draw and see who we get. Cheers, Barry. Well yeah, done. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Cheers. Bob.